And my name is Ted Sims. I work actually for Integrity Marketing, and today we're going to talk about the landscape of Illinois and three carriers, um, Medicare supplement carriers. A little bit about me before we get started. Um, again, my name is Ted Sims. I've been in this business about 22 years, and I've spent 10 years of that time actually selling Medicare supplements, senior products to seniors in the field. So I will kind of refer back to some of my experiences as we go through this too. Um, let me minimize this. Okay, so, you know, to me, this is the greatest business in the world for a multitude of reasons. I mean, first and foremost, dealing with clients and giving your clients products that fit their needs. I mean, you're helping people. And I'm sure if you've been in this business for very long, You've heard those stories from your clients, whether you sold them a life policy, Medicare supplement, Medicare Advantage policy, whatever policy you may have sold them where that plan actually came in and fit a need. So, you know, it is a very fulfilling. The other piece of it is really, you know, you can make as much or as little money as you want in this business if you apply yourself. There's a couple of keys to that. Obviously, you've got to partner with the right IMO and senior marketing specialist is one of the best in the business. The other is you got to partner with the right carriers, but you know, you can get as much or as little out of this business as you want. So today we're going to cover a few different things. Um, we're going to briefly go through integrity marketing groups and the roles that they play in the Medicare supplements that we're going to talk about today. We're also going to talk about senior marketing specialists and the value and support. And there's some free tools you get by partnering with any one of these carriers. Um, and then we're going to talk about three different carriers. Um, we'll go pretty quickly through the first two of them and talk about why and where they're positioned in Illinois. And then we'll spend a little bit more time on Allstate only because Allstate actually is doing business differently. They have stackable discounts of up to 25%. And that equivalates to basically three months worth of free premium. So that's kind of how this will flow today. So having said that, let's just dive right on in. A couple of housekeeping items for you real quick before I get into this. I am broadcasting from a hotel for some reason all morning this morning around 10, uh, around 30 to 40 minutes after the hour, my internet keeps going out. If it does, I will log back in. It takes about 20 seconds. So if I freeze, I'll realize it because it popped up here. So I will be right back. The other thing right at the top of the hour, we should be done by then, but if we're not, um, I may lose internet access altogether because checkout time is at 11 o'clock. If you do have any outstanding questions at that point in time that I have not been able to answer, they will. you, you can make sure they will get emailed to me, so don't worry about it. They will get answered. We'll get them back to you. So having said that, let's talk about where integrity falls in. Typically speaking, when a Medicare supplement or any product for that matter, comes to market, you have the carrier that brings it, the agent generally is in the middle, and your clients, the insured, are on the outside. But having said that, Integrity actually has multiple roles in the middle of this on the Medicare supplement side. And this is not meant to brag about Integrity, it's actually meant to show you the different pieces of this that actually try and make your job easier on the Medicare supplement side. So. First and foremost, well, uh, they, they, I work for the Atlanta Office of Integrity. They're actually the arm that develops the Medicare supplement products that we bring to market and the specifically the three we're talking about today. I don't work for the team that actually, I work for the team, but I don't actually partake in developing these products. I'm part of the sales team for these products, but we're gonna talk through some of the thoughts that go into when they design those. Another piece is we partnered with Thomas Arts. Thomas Arts is, actually the agent of record for United Healthcare, and I believe Aetna is the other one. What that means is they do all of their turnkey materials. They also do all the turnkey materials we're gonna talk about today for the three products that we're talking about. The next piece is generally your IMOs, so your independent sales distribution. Again, Senior Marketing Specialist is one of the premier IMOs in the business. You guys were invited by them. Hopefully you're doing business with them. You also have career shops, captive agencies, and call centers. So this is another piece that we have multiple pieces in. And then the last one, but maybe not the least, because there's a lot of moving pieces to this, technology and third-party administration. Third-party administration, we've actually partnered with IAS, which does 
third-party administration on one of the carriers we're going to talk about today. The other is the technology. We're going to talk a lot about making your job as an agent easy. A lot of the tools and technology is actually partnership through integrity. CSG Actuarial, for instance, Def Research, and some of the tools that you have free access um, to by partnering with one of these carriers through senior marketing specialists also we're going to talk through. So there's an awful lot of moving pieces in here. We will briefly touch on these pieces. We're not going to go too in depth. There are webinars that you can actually attend through senior marketing specialists that will teach you all of these tools that are available to you. So just kind of an outline of the different roles that integrity marketing plays in this business. <laughs> these are the carrier partners that we have brought to market. Today, we are going to talk about the top three, ACE, AFLAC, and Allstate, and we're going to break down the positioning again on where they are in the market. So I mentioned the team in Atlanta. Um, when they go to design Medicare supplements, there's really three thought processes that they go through designing these. They want to make it appealing to you, the agent. They also want to make it appealing to your clients. The next piece of that is they want it to be profitable. And we're going to talk through some of these pieces for you guys. You know, obviously you're in this to make uh, make a living, um, make, make a career out of it. So they want it to be profitable for you. And then the last one is they want it to be easy to do business or easy to work with. I mean, obviously, again, I mentioned you have choices as far as your IMO, you have choices with carriers. Obviously, if these products were not easy to do business with, like, e-applications, whatever it may be, you're not going to want to do business with them. So those thought processes go into the partnerships that Integrity brings with these carriers and then brings them to market. And we're going to kind of redundantly go back through and point out some of these, but it is there for a purpose. So, you know, when we talk about appeal for these Medicare supplements, you know, one of the first things that I always did when I sat down with my clients and completed the needs analysis and realized that a Medicare supplement was the direction that was right for this client. I asked my client, what is important to you? Is it brand? Is it having the lowest rates uh, available in my state and or zip code? You know, sometimes, not quite as often, the carrier, or the, the client will ask you the financial stability, you know, the AM best rating of the actual carrier. That doesn't come up quite as often, but it does come up with your more affluent, your higher net worth clients. They may ask and want to know that information. So again, those are the appealing pieces. I always ask my client, point blank, what is most important to you? Is it a brand name carrier that you trust? Is it the lowest rates available to you? You know, those things. And then again, back to the agent, effortless. Obviously we want these to be easy for you to sell, make them appealing to you, the actual agent. So when I talk about profitable today, um, you know, there's a few pieces that go into that for you guys, the actual agent. First and foremost, you know, we don't undercut commission. Any of the Medicare supplements that we brought to market, you're going to find at worst case matches the top commissions you're going to find for anybody else. A lot of cases were higher than other carriers. So we're not going to undercut you. And that goes for a street level agent, whether you sell one product a year or you have a big agency and you sell a thousand Medicare supplements a year, you're gonna match the commission based on your qualification level. So you're definitely going to have the highest commissions available out there. Medicare supplement products stick, they stay around on the books. Nine out of 10 actual Medicare supplement policy holders, according to Telos Actuarial, are extremely or very satisfied with the coverage that they have. It stays on the books, which means it's going to pay commissions. And then the last piece for you guys, well, not one of, the, one of the last pieces on profitability, all of our Medicare supplements have bonus programs built into them. So not only are you gonna get the commission that is paid on a typical Medicare supplement policy, there are bonus programs available to pay you additional commission. So we'll kind of go through those real quick. Allstate is currently running a bonus program for the second quarter. Um, this one, you actually have to sell 10 within the quarter to qualify. If you do, you're going to get an additional $125 per application for any underwritten, $50 for any type of anniversary rule or birthday, and then $25 additional commission above and beyond your 
uh, regular commission for open enrollment type business. That's what Allstate is currently running. AFLAC is running a, another one. This one actually you qualify every month. As long as you write three applications, you'll get the additional $100 per, open, uh, per underwritten case and $50 for any non-underwritten open enrollment type business on those and that resets every month throughout the second quarter and the last one is one of our richest bonuses we have going out there this one again runs for the entire second quarter you qualify by writing five applications within the second quarter as long as you qualify within the second quarter you're going to get 250 dollars for every underwritten case and 25 dollars for any open enrollment type business or, or depending on how it is so again, this is actually one of the richest bonuses we have out there. And there are agents that are getting very, very large bonus checks at the end of each quarter. Forgive me for the water every couple of minutes. I have a scratchy throat and I've been talking on webinars all morning. So um, I talked about effortless. Again, you guys have choices with the carriers you guys are gonna wanna do business with. We want to make these as effortless as possible for you guys. So I mentioned Thomas Arts. They do all of our pre-approved turnkey materials for you guys. Generally speaking, you're going to have um, product flyers available for pretty much every state. Sometimes they get delayed by state departments actually approving them. <coughs> but you're going to have most everything you need, be it client email templates, marketing, advertising, all of that stuff readily available for you <coughs> to do business with these carriers. The second one is actually very important to us here on uh, from the Atlanta team. By partnering with senior marketing specialists, you guys are part of the carrier feedback loop. And what I mean by that is, you know, when we bring these Medicare supplements to market, it doesn't always go according to plan. And I'll give you an example. One of the carriers we brought to market a few years ago actually did not have a very simplistic EAP process. It's kind of clunky. Um, so to speak, didn't really have or did not have a security question signature. There were some other things in there and feedback came back from the field that, hey, you know, this this e app is just not very agent friendly. So we took that information back to the carrier. We made some adjustments. We got that fixed, took a little bit of time. But we did get that fixed and 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 um, rolled out to the agent force with a security question signature and some other things. That's just one example. But, you know, things like that where something is not working as intended or is not as easy to do business with, by sharing that information through senior marketing specialists, that gets back to our team here in Atlanta. And it is very important to us to make sure these products are effortless for you guys. And I already mentioned the e-app signature process, and we're going to kind of touch on some of those here in a minute when we go through the product. And then you're going to have the, the support of the um, senior marketing specialist team you know, obviously to do business and be successful in this, you need a team that's going to help you obviously free up time for you to be out in the field selling, not having to do a lot of back end work. They give you sales training, they give you anything you really pretty much want. And then the last piece of this we're going to touch on is the access to the free tools that you have <coughs> by partnering with one of these carriers. So all of this is in an effort to make it easy for you guys. So, you know, I talk a lot about tools. Obviously, this guy's going to have a bad day if he actually tries to blow up this tire with a bicycle pump. But again, it's a it's a funny picture, but it is a prime example of making sure you have the right tools for the job, partnering with the right IMO and having the rest of the tools you need to do your job will save you a lot of time and time is going to equate to money. So let's talk about some of the tools that you get free by doing business through senior marketing specialists. First and foremost is Medicare Center. You know, Medicare Center is a tool in itself. It's basically a CRM for you. I could spend hours, but I'm not going to. If you are interested in learning more and are contracted with these or want to get contracted with these, there's webinars to teach you everything you need to know. But these will make your life very easy. <laughs> First and foremost, like I said, it's a CRM for you. It also gives you call recording. Again, this is free to you. So if you sell Medicare Advantage, you know, we all were in a scramble mode a year and a half or two years ago when we realized we were going to have to do call recording on all of our MA clients. This is free to you. It's CMS compliant. It's held there for you. You have your own personal URLs, basically an agent website, has quote and enroll tools. 
There's so much information here that helps you. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. The other one is Lead Center. You know, we all see marketing allowances that are given depending on what you're doing business with, what companies, everything else, or, but you're going to have to have leads to survive in this business. Lead Center is attached to Medicare Center, but you can order health and life leads. You can order old leads. You can order brand new leads. You can actually have real time live lead campaigns access to you. So, Lead Center is another tool where you can load your marketing allowances or whatever you may get from different carriers on there. And then again, it connects with Medicare Center. So it makes your life really, really easy. The other one is the CSG Actuarial. I talked about at the beginning with the Integrity I, the partnerships we have. CSG is one of our partners. If you're not familiar with it, we're going to give you an example of it here later, but it's a quoting tool where you can plug in a zip code, a client's age, their tobacco status and whether they qualify for a household discount or not. And it will actually quote every single Medicare supplement carrier in that zip code for you. So you can choose the best carrier available for you. It does the same thing on the dental, you know, all kinds of ancillary products. It is also a MedSup quoting consumer tool. What I mean by that is if you're replacing somebody else's Medicare supplement, you can do a side by side comparison give it in a PDF and email it to your client where it shows their existing, maybe overpriced Medicare supplement carrier side by side with two that you may be recommending to them or three. And it shows them that those products are identical. Plan G is plan G. So it kind of gives them a side by side comparison. There's a lot of other tools on this. Again, there's webinars available on these. I'm not going to spend too much time there. Um, I talked about the turnkey materials that Thomas Arts creates. You have social media posts client email templates, you name it, the print materials that you know every carrier out there has, all of this stuff is readily available to you guys. So again, and then the last tool that is available free by partnering with senior marketing specialists is our Turning 65 phone app. This is kind of a neat little tool. Maybe it's a little uh, after its time, but a couple of things that it does have for you. It also has quoting engines for MedSub, final expense, hospital indemnity, dental vision, hearing. It also has a neat little section over here, and this is actually my home address in Georgia, where you can plug in your actual address and it will show you every client around you that is turning 65, uh, give you their date of birth, their address, and their name. Now, if you're a social butterfly, you like to get out and knock on doors, or you wanna create some type of mailing to those clients, that's important information to have. Um, it is kind of a neat tool, as I mentioned, you know, a lot of agents do business differently now, but. It is a neat little tool to have just to make sure you know what's going on around you. So having said all of that, we're gonna dive into the three carriers that we came to actually learn about today. And the first one is ACE Medicare Supplement. Um, ACE, I don't know if you're familiar with the name Chubb. Chubb is a huge commercial property and casualty company. ACE actually purchased Chubb um, and used the ACE name when they came to market. But a lot of clients are gonna be familiar with the Chubb name. So just a quick overview of who ACE is. After they partnered with Chubb, they are actually the world's largest publicly traded property and casualty insurance company. They are, they're very financially stable, over 200 billion in assets and reported 46.8 billion of gross premiums in 2021. I don't currently have any 2022 numbers. This is kind of a really big one. I mean, 93% of Fortune 1000 companies have at least one Chubb product. Let me say that backwards for you. That means only 70, 70 of the top 1000 Fortune companies do not have a Chubb commercial property and casualty product in there. So extremely large carrier. The only A++ rated carrier that I know of that actually is in the Medicare space <clears throat> State Farm is in the is an A plus plus rate, rated carrier that actually sells Medicare supplements, but their prices are not competitive, so they're not really in the Medicare space. I don't know of any other A plus plus rated carrier out there. So when we talked about those appeals, financial stability of the company, you know that's going to be a check off another box for you, is making it easier for you to sell for your clients. So as far as the product goes. You know, this is how it was positioned for you guys outside of Nebraska, pretty much every other state that ACE is available in, you're going to find that they're going to have the lowest rates in those states. That includes Illinois. When you're looking at their base rates, 
once you add in household discounts, they're also going to be right there at the top of the leaderboard when you do your CSG quoting. So the product was specifically designed to have a great rate. Already has a brand name, already has a plus plus rating. It does have a 7% household discount, one policy. If you're not familiar with what I mean by one policy, depending on the state rules, only one person in the household has to apply as long as they live with somebody. Um, and that's different by state, obviously, but it is a one policy discount and 7% maybe a little bit lower than some of the others, but as I mentioned, they came in with the lowest rates. So that 7% discount stacked on low rates is already gonna be low. It will be extremely competitive everywhere you look at it, including Illinois. Um, it is administered by IAS, as I mentioned in that slide at the beginning, all the different roles that integrity plays. This actually gives you that carrier feedback loop. You know, We have a lot more insight to our third-party administrator doing underwriting on this product for you. And then they have the typical plans available to you. I mean, you know, generally speaking, you're going to have A, F, well, A is nobody really sells A, but F, G, and N, and then the high deductibles in the states, not in every state, but in most states, you're going to find the high deductible plans. I mentioned the simplicity of business. First and foremost, they have a security question signature. They actually are the one carrier I know of that has pretty much any signature option you could dream of. Think I'm kidding? I'll give you a prime example. Most carriers, you know, say you have a client that's way down in your state, hundreds of miles away, or maybe lives in a different state, but they are old school and they want to sign an application. Well, with the ACE application e-app process, you can actually click US Mail. You fill out the application, ACE will send that application to your client for a wet signature with a return envelope for them to send it back. So has pretty much any other signature option you want, text, security question, email, you name it, you can pretty much do any of the signature processes, but again, you know, they are making it easy for you to do business with. And then the last, you know, this is kind of, a, a, ACE, as I mentioned up here, is designed to be the lowest rates in the state. So some agents are not comfortable selling the lowest rate, and I understand and respect that, but I will tell you, it is extremely competitive, it is selling a ton of it in every state that it is in. So at some point, you may run up against it and not be able to compete against it if you're not really selling it. So it's probably something to at least carry in your back pocket if you don't want to have a lowest premium for when you do have to have that rate play. I mean, other than that, you know, there's not a whole lot when it comes to Medicare supplement. That's how ACE was designed. I will go back through again. It does have the brand name. It does carry the Chubb name. They are the lowest rates where they're going to go. They are a plus plus rated carrier. And then again, as I mentioned to you guys earlier, they have one of the lowest bonus. I mean, one of the highest bonus programs going on the market right now with that two hundred and fifty dollar app bonus. So, again, I'm assuming you guys are familiar with Medicare supplements, how they work. There's not a whole lot else to really discuss with ACE. It is very competitive product. As far as the next carrier goes, I don't think there needs to be too much introduction on the duck. Aflac is a huge brand name. A little bit about Aflac. Um, again, they are a plus rated carrier. Um, so checks off that brand box for you. Um, if you're not familiar with the, the history of them, they were actually originally American Family Life Insurance Company of Columbus, Georgia right down the street from our office or an hour down the street from our office. They did change their name to American Family Life Assurance Company in 1964, which obviously set them up for the groundbreaking duck recruiting marketing campaign that you know everybody knows. In fact, speaking of everybody knowing that, 87% of seniors are familiar with duck names. So when you walk into a client household, it's going to be a comfortable conversation to talk about Aflac. They're very familiar with it. Think about all the free advertising that's on, you know, if, if you watch any type of sporting event, college sports, uh, college football specifically, you can't go Saturday without seeing Aflac up, up there 20 different times. A lot of seniors watch college football. That's free branding for you, the agent, on your actual product. I mentioned a one policy discount in the last one. This is identical. Aflac does have a 10% household discount for your clients. It is administered by Aetna. So if you're familiar and comfortable with the Aetna underwriting process, 
It's basically the same website with a different URL, same underwriting processes, everything else. If you're comfortable with Aetna, any of the Aetna family of products, you're going to be very comfortable and familiar with the Aflac. This product was not designed as the overall lowest price carrier, but they were designed extremely competitive and they are extremely competitive in Illinois. And we'll get to some rates in a few minutes on this. But, you know, for instance, the tier one carriers actually show you a list of them, but we're talking about the big carriers like the Blue Cross Blue Shield, um, Cigna's, United Healthcare, those sort of things. So this was priced to be lower or right around the lowest of those with a huge brand name. Again, it has a typical carriers that are plans that you're looking for in most states. It is, again, I mentioned the Aetna connection. It's a great home for any of you guys that were familiar or comfortable selling the Aetna products. I mentioned the tier one carriers, and, and this actually breaks down where Illinois was. In fact, I must point out this screenshot was actually from late last year. Aflac has not taken a rate increase. Some of these other carriers have. So as competitive as they were at this point in time, they're going to be that much more competitive. It was designed to be the lowest of those tier one carriers. So just kind of giving you a reference point for where it is in Illinois. Again, uh, again, a Medicare supplement's pretty simple. So there's not a whole lot here to discuss if you understand Medicare supplements. I go back to my appeal. I told you I was going to be redundant on this. Checks off a lot of boxes. It has brand recognition. You can feel comfortable walking into your client's household and have it. And having this uh, product, sorry, my phone rang, having this product as a name that you're going to talk about with your clients. So brand name recognition for you. The next piece is it has that A plus rating. Again, it's gonna check that box off for you. Lowest prices of the tier one carriers. It's extremely competitive in Illinois and pretty much everywhere else that it is. And again, we talked about the year round bonus programs for you. We always run bonus programs for all of our products. So you're gonna get additional bonus money on top of that commission. The last one we're gonna talk about is gonna be Allstate. We're gonna spend a little bit more time going through Allstate only because of all the different pieces. And Allstate is actually kind of confused some agents. So I wanna make this simplistic for you. I don't think I need to spend a whole lot of time on who Allstate is. I'm old enough to remember the Good Hands logo, the Good Hands people. Those um, currently speaking, you know, you have the new commercials out there again, talking about free advertising for you. Um, you might be more familiar with them through the Nat Gen name. Um, they were originally Nat Gen. They actually were purchased. Nat Gen was purchased by Allstate back in 2021. They completed the um, branding over to Allstate in 2022. So everything is under the Allstate name now. Again, AM best rated. So you have an A plus rating there for you. They're also an extremely financial stable company, 51 billion in annual revenue, and they have over 191 million policyholders. That's an awful lot of policyholders. They are the good hands people. To me, the mayhem ads, he cracks me up every single time he comes on TV. So again, the free advertising piece is huge, gives you that comfort factor when you're talking to a client. If you're sitting at a client's kitchen table over the phone, doesn't really matter. It is a comfort factor for your clients. So here's where we're really gonna spend the most time. Allstate is different. And when I first think about a property and casualty company, the first thing that comes to my mind would be stacking automobile and homeowners to get discounts. Well, Allstate has actually pioneered that so that you can actually save your clients on the meds up side with discounts even if it's just a single client that doesn't meet any of the household criteria to get household discounts. So we're going to kind of walk through that. And I think you might see some of these trends take hold with other carriers as we go forward. So one of the first things is on the underwriting side, 80% of the business you submit to Allstate will have an instant underwriting decision. Think about that in AEP. That is a huge benefit to you, the agent. You have shorter time frame windows. You know, you don't have to worry about policies running up to close to issue dates or effective dates before they actually get issued on 80% of your cases. So that was a huge piece. I wish more carriers did this back when I was actively in the field selling instead of just basically servicing my clients now. 
The other piece that goes along with that is instant card, instant ID card download. So again, back in that AEP time, you know, mailing can get slow around Christmas time. You can actually give your clients, email them, handprint, whatever you want to do, give them access, text them a picture of their ID card. So they have that handy until they actually get their plastic cards. This last piece on their underwriting difference is not really a huge issue, but they do take policy effective dates, 29th, 30th, 31st. Obviously the billing default will default to the first of the month, unless you select a regular draft date that's other than that. So that's not really a big issue, but it is unique. So we'll go ahead and put it up there. Now here's where Allstate really sets themselves apart. Um, first and foremost, they have a new rating class actually called Prefer Select. So you have your typical rating class for all of your clients. They have a secondary rating class that is for their healthier clients. This business is an underwritten piece of business in, as far as being able to qualify. There are some, some loopholes in there. I'm not gonna go down those rabbit holes, but for the most part, you're looking at underwritten business to get this preferred select rating. So there's three different qualifications outside of your typical underwriting, the 20 or so questions that you will answer for your clients to get this preferred select rating. The first and foremost is no tobacco. As long as they have no tobacco usage, they're good. The second one, and then we talk about healthier clients up here, there is a little bit tighter height and weight chart. So it is not going to be quite as liberal as a normal Medicare supplement application. And that's only for this preferred select rating class. The typical rating classes that are out there has the normal height and weight chart. So if you have somebody that's a little bit more healthy, a little bit more physically fit as far as their height and weight, you're going to also have the opportunity to qualify for them. The last one is one additional health question. And that health question is going to ask them, in the last five years, have they been diagnosed with depression? And are they taking an antidepressant medication? So if they're underwritten, they pass all the normal questions, they have a little bit tighter height and weight chart, no tobacco, and the no to the antidepressant question, they will qualify for the preferred select rating. The beautiful thing about this is from age 66, I mentioned underwritten, from age 66 to age 70, the preferred select rating rate class takes no typical age increase rate increases for your client. So it's banded. It will take any block of business, any um, loss ratio type of rate increases, but it will not take your typical um, age increase rate increases. So. That is a nice piece. That is something that's totally separate from the rest of everything else. Again, this is really only for your healthy clients. So the next piece we're gonna talk about is their normal block of Medicare supplement business that everybody you know that can pass underwriting or as an open enrollment can qualify for. So the multi-discount. I talked about property and casualty companies. You think about a typical one, you can stack your homeowners and your auto and anything else you have and apply discounts. Well. Uh, all state has done that on the Medicare supplement side. First one is your typical household discount that pretty much every carrier out there has. So if your client meets the state criteria for whatever state you live in, the household discount will be seven or 10%. The 7% is if they are the one policy holder only out of the household is actually applying. If a spouse, a husband and, uh, you know, husband and wife, spouse, significant other, whatever it is, they both apply together, that household discount is actually 10%. The beautiful thing about this also is, suppose the spouse significant other is declined. That 10% does not drop down to seven for the one that is actually approved. They get to maintain that 10% if they wanna proceed with the policy. So the first piece of the stackable discounts can be either seven or 10%, depending on where they qualify within the household discount. These next two, I really wish I had back when I was building my block of business because I had, we've all had that single client that didn't qualify for any type of household discount. Well, the next piece of it, and we're going to talk about some of the actuarial benefits to keeping this block of business healthy, is a 10% annual pay discount. You know, over the last few years, there really hasn't been any um, advantage to asking your clients to pay annually. Now you have it. And you know, you're gonna find that most seniors are in a position if you ask them to pay a thousand, twelve hundred dollar a year premium, that they could actually do that 
um, to save 10%. So now you have a reason to ask your clients to pay that annual discount or pay annually so they can get that discount. As a benefit to you, obviously, your annual pay discount, those clients are going to stay on the books for that year in most cases. So it's more persistency for you. The last piece of these discounts that not everyone is going to be a good viable client for is an activity tracker discount. Now, there's going to be a lot of questions around this, so I'll do my best to answer these for you right now. But the 5% discount is uh, for a, a Fitbit, uh, Apple Watch, any of the big six carrier, six, six companies that have some type of activity tracker. All they have to do, and here's the key pieces of this, is register the act the activity tracker and then take one step a day so let's say they have an apple watch as long as it's registered they put that watch on that's going to count as their one step of the day they get out of bed that's it but i know where the rest of the questions are going to come from on this is you know what do they do with that information well let me talk a little bit about that they're never going to call your client remember qualification on it is register one step they're not going to reach out to your client they're not going to change their rates because they're not walking all of the information that is gathered through this is actuarially information for future products, things of that, that, that nature. So again, it's an opportunity for your clients. If they have any type of activity tracker that they wear, they're active for them to register it and save an additional 5%. The information is not used against them. So now let me put this into perspective. We've talked about this. So now discounting your clients, you can actually discount your client's base premium anywhere from five to 25%. And this is where I talked about, you know, 25%, that equates to three months worth of free premium. And that's not just the first year. I mean, you're discounting that premium that they're gonna carry for as long as they have that policy. So you are discounting those premiums and the equivalent of basically three months. Obviously we know rate increases happen, that changes things, but, Typically speaking, you're going to discount your client almost three months worth of premium or three months worth of premium, and that's kind of a nice benefit. So one additional thing that is free to everyone, actually two of them, as long as you're if, with every Medicare supplement policy, they also get access to Amplify Hearing Care. Amplify Hearing Care is actually a neat little program. It is for hearing aids. Um, first and foremost, they have access to an office visit one time to go get that hearing aid. That costs them $75 unless they use Miracle Ear. If they use Miracle Ear, that office visit is actually free. Otherwise, it's $75. But here's where the benefits really start to kick in for you with this. First and foremost, a very discounted hearing aid program. I don't know the exact specifics, but I believe, I can't remember the numbers, but hearing aids started around 70%. I mean, uh, $700. I know hearing aids are very, very expensive these days. So huge discounts on hearing aids for your clients. The second and third pieces of this are also extremely valuable from a financial perspective for your clients. First and foremost, they get two years worth of free battery replacement. I understand I don't have them, but I understand those batteries can be quite expensive. So that's a nice benefit, two years worth of free batteries. The third piece of that is they get a three-year warranty uh, loss replacement damage type warranty piece built in for you. So that's nice. And then the last thing, when you actually get hearing aids, you actually get one year of follow-up care um, doctor visit wise. So let's think about that. Typically speaking, when somebody gets a hearing aid, they're going to go have to go back to the doctor at least one time, maybe and have it fine-tuned. Sometimes they may have to go four, five, six times to go have that hearing aid fine-tuned. All of those office visits within the first year are free. So that's a huge savings to your clients. In addition to that, Allstate actually offers all of your Medicare supplement policyholders um, active and fit fitness program. This has two components. One is free, one is $25 a month. So let's talk about the free one first. The free one is actually access to uh, roughly 10, 12,000 on-demand videos that they can work out from in their home. So maybe that's good, maybe it's not, depending on your client. The second piece is $25 a month gets them access to, I believe it's over 15,000 gyms. All the big gyms are in there. The beautiful thing about that is they don't have to go deal with salesmen at the gym. They actually register directly on the Active and Fit website. They pick their gym, 
They get some type of membership card. They go over to that gym. They don't ever have to deal with the salespeople. There's no contract. They can cancel at any time, and they can actually can't. They can change gyms anytime they want. They go back to the active and fit website, plug in the new gym they want to go to, transfer their membership over there, show up at that gym, and use it. So it is a nice benefit um, for your clients. And again, $25 piece for the gyms, free for the other one. Then the last piece of all of this, and we're going to tie it together with some rates and, and kind of a breakdown on where they broke CSG is this would be that point in a TV commercial where you say, but wait, there's more. Well, remember I talked about the healthy rating, uh, select rating up here that's available for you. You can actually stack any of these 25% up to the full 25% on that preferred select rate for your clients. So those rates are extremely competitive for your clients. So let's talk about a few other pieces to this. I talked actuarial about this. You know, I, again, I mentioned, alluded to, you may not be comfortable selling the lowest price premium out there. Fine, I get that. But let's talk about where Allstate fits in that market and some of the actuarial information that goes into giving clients these discounts. Obviously, preferred select, that's for your healthier clients. That's going to drive a healthy block of business as it is. So it's kind of a no-brainer. But the 10% annual pay discount for you, the agent, first of all, better persistency. But there's two other pieces that actually drive better business for this. Typically speaking, somebody that's in a better financial position usually is more conscious of their health. Conscious of their health is going to drive, in most cases, better claims history. The other piece of it is those that have that same ability to pay annually, they tend to have those better claim outcomes actuarially. So, that 10% discount is actually being applied to customers that are typically speaking going to be better as far as the block of business goes. The other one obviously is a no-brainer. Again, wearable, those people are more health conscious. This is all going to drive better business for the long-term rate increases, those sort of things for the block of business. So again, I'm not going to go through all of these. We've talked about all the peel pieces. The one that I do want to highlight um, obviously, free advertising, but the social media opportunity. And I'm sure um, you guys are more creative than I am when it comes to this, but I wish I had a product like this when I was selling because I would pay somebody. I'm not that creative. I would pay somebody or use AI technology to create some social media posts for me. But what I mean by that is as long as you're not using the Allstate name, you could create something that says, hey, would you be interested in learning how you could save the equivalent of three months of free premium on your Medicare supplement. However, you want to get creative with that. Again, the caveat is obviously you cannot put the Allstate name, but there is a huge opportunity for you guys to drive leads to you by utilizing Allstate's products. So won't dig in too much there for you. The last piece I want to talk about with you guys is CSG actuarial. Now, I have, I've talked about ACE came in at about $89 a month. Allstate comes in around 110 or $105 a month. Aflac comes in around $103 a month. This is for a typical 68-year-old female in 615 zip code. This is not it up here, but I wanted to give you the actual rate quotes. I could not screen grab it from Illinois this morning for some reason for my hotel. But the more important thing that I want to talk to you about this, again, they're competitive everywhere you look at. But when you go to CSG, You'll find Ace, you'll find Aflac, very competitively priced, and you'll find Allstate. A couple of things that are going to confuse you there. If you're looking at just the monthly rates, and like I said, Ace will be about $89. Um, Allstate, some, uh, Aflac, I believe, was like $103. Allstate was somewhere right in that same range. range for your typical client before you start applying discounts. Once you start applying household discounts and then the annual discount, whoops, you're going to see that it kind of changes. So you see all of these all state rates that are listed here. And I cannot stress enough, if you want to do what's right by your client, make sure you look on whatever quoting engine you're looking at the annual rate first, because look at this difference here. Actually, Ace Property and Casualty, when you did a monthly rate and applied household discounts, was the lowest premium there. Once you start adding in that annual discount, 
now look at it. I mean, you know, it's not that big of a difference, 70 bucks or so a month, but you have five different options, six different options here. There's five different options actually in Illinois where Allstate is cheaper because of all those different stackable pieces. And the reason I'm pointing this out to you is there's a couple of terms you need to know to make sure you understand what you're looking at when you look at this. So from here, if you actually click on the expand quotes on CSG, the rate quoting tools that you're using, once you expand those quotes, it will take you to the next pay or to it'll expand the rates for you for here. This is where you figure out exactly what that rate is. Preferred select we talked about, that's for your healthier clients, but then they're adding in a 5% discount. Then they're adding in the household discount and it says household and dual. That means it's two policies, so you know you have the 10%. If it only said household or it could say roommate, those are the two words that they use for discounting. But expanding this allows you to see exactly which quote is up there and which one is going to be best for your client. So, or which one is your client is actually going to qualify for. So again, looking at the quotes that I have here specifically, this one was your preferred select again. Then they have the 5% wearable and then they have the household. So only the 7% of the household discount where this one had the 10%. So putting that in perspective, this is a great opportunity for you to screenshot or take a picture with your phone on those terms that you want to look for. It will give you the, the tools to actually quote your clients correctly on CSG and other ones. These are the terms that you're going to look for with the percentages that are applied. That way you just kind of understand the quoting pieces that you're looking at. So having said all of that, you know, this is this brings me to the end of all these pieces. Um, I would like to talk through you guys, you know, the next step for you before we get to the very end, and I'll answer questions. If you are not contracted with any of these carriers, again, I talk about senior marketing specialists being one of the premier IMOs out there please reach out and get contracted on any, I would suggest you get contracted on all three carriers so that you have all the best options available to you for your clients. Once you get contracted, you will have access to all the tools I talked about, plus all the sales training and support. And besides the tools that I mentioned, Senior Marketing Specialist has so many other tools, activities, online training, tutorials, you name everything else. And in the last piece, this is kind of, to me, write an application, you're gonna see how simple these companies are to do business with. So having said that, I'm gonna ask if there are any questions that need to be answered by me, and here's the contact information to reach out to senior marketing specialists. Thank you so much, Ted. We do have just a couple questions here. Um, okay. Let's see, I wrote down what the products were whenever they were asking. So um, Mary, you're the one asking these questions, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that this one is regarding ACE. Um, it says, uh, how likely or long might these rates hold? Their rates are 90, um, might not be so competitive. Is it possible that they might revisit this? Well, you know, the that's a loaded question, but let me give you the the right answer the best way to answer this you know again ace was designed with the lowest rates and i understand where you're going with this and i, I fully respect it the driver and it doesn't matter which carrier it is that's going to drive rate increases typically comes down to us the agents we have a lot of control over what happens in most of these states what i mean by that is the mix of business you put with any one carrier. I'll give you an example. If you write all open enrollment business with one of these carriers, that's not gonna be the best mix of business for those carriers to maintain that rate. And I know it's not always possible, but the more you spread that risk around open enrollment, guarantee issue type business with all of your different carriers will maintain the longevity of those rates. Now, having said that, to answer your question, there is no guarantee that they're going to stay great for a long period of time because seniors are going to age. This typically happens with a lot of carriers. They come in, they can only maintain rates for so long. They are a little bit tighter on the back end of their underwriting. What I mean by that, you know, there's some specific examples. You're going to see 
when you take talk about medications, and let's talk about specifically diabetics or underwritten business, if there's a lot of medication changes within the last couple of years, that means that the client is not doing everything they're supposed to to take care of themselves. Even though they may have answered no to all the health questions, that's going to be scrutinized a little bit more. And you may find that those are declined a little bit more frequently with a company like ACE because they're trying to maintain those rates. But to answer your question, there's really no guarantee that these rates will be able to maintain, especially as competitive as they are now, you know, four or five years from now. Obviously, we know pretty much every carrier is going to take a rate increase every year. I will quantify that with the Medicare supplements that we bring to market with integrity. Integrity marketing, typically speaking, first year rate increases are around five or six percent with all of these carriers. You know, sometimes things happen. And I'll give you a prime example. In Texas, when I used to, when I was actually working within integrity for the marketing side and we tracked the loss ratios, we had an agent that was going out to um, kidney dialysis center telling these people, hey, when you turn 65, I can sell you this nice Medicare supplement. It's going to pay all those costs for you. Well, think about that. That agent can really impact all of that block of business. So it really comes down to all of us agents doing the sensible thing for these carriers out there. We all have our favorites doing the sensible things to do what's right for them. And that's really the only answer I can give you with that. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. Um, we do have a question here about household discounts vary by um, amount, how to qualify, some require, let's see, um, what are the requirements for the household discount with these three companies? And Ted, this might be something that might just be easier to send out a resource afterwards, um, but do you yeah, have anything? It is, in the, it is in the marketer playbook for you guys. Um, it will list out all three of these carriers and the state of Illinois specifically. Actually, in the playbook there for you, you can tell them if they have questions on other states. I'm not sure where Illinois falls, and I probably should have looked it up. But typically, state speaking, so, you know, these carriers are all going to be one policy discount where the states allow it. That's part of that ease of doing business. So if Illinois specifically is the one you're talking about, if Illinois does allow carriers to do one policy discounts, then those one policy discounts will be available there. But the SMS team can actually share the rest of that with you. They have access to that through the marketing playbook. Perfect, awesome. And then we have one last question and then we'll wrap it up here. Um, does anyone else offer an annual pay discount at this time besides Allstate? Not that I know of. Okay. I don't, I mean, I'm not licensed with every single carrier out there, but I've been doing this for 22 years. First time I've ever seen a full, I mean, I've seen, the first time I've seen 10% discount. I know some of them, very small percentage. Actually, you could pay more by paying it monthly. So there could be some small discounts out there, but nobody that I know is giving a 10% discount, no. Awesome. All righty, well, that's all the questions that we have here today. Ted, thank you so much. Um, for talking about Illinois with us today. Like we said, we'll get that marketing playbook out to you guys in the follow-up email as well as this recording. But if you ever have any questions, please feel free to contact Senior Marketing Specialists. We're happy to um, answer whatever questions you have. And if we can't answer it, we will, uh, we're able to get a hold of Ted and his team and make sure that we get those accurate answers for you. But uh, Ted, thank you correct. so much. Sorry, Let me correct ahead. one thing. The marketing playbook sure. is actually for you guys. There's one in the process for the agents. You can share the information from that over those states, but you won't actually be able to send them that playbook, just so you know. Good call. Okay, awesome. Sorry. Sounds good. So we'll get that information out to you all. But uh, Ted, hey, thank you so much uh, for joining us again. And uh, we'll get you guys back to the rest of your day. Thank you for hosting me. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. Awesome. Thank you.